So you have the Rode Wireless Go 2s and you want to connect it to your iPhone because the box says made for iPhone, iPad and iPod as well as made for USB-C devices. But it didn't come with any of the cables to make that happen. Hey everyone, I'm India Delgado. Thank you so much for tuning in. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly what you need to get your Rode Wireless Go 2s connected to your iPhone with a cheap alternative and you might even have half of the solution already in your house somewhere. Let's get straight into it. So all you need are two cables under $25 in order to make this work. I'm even going to show you how you can add in another adapter, which will get headphones connected at the same time so that you can get audio pass through and hear what's going on through audio. I'm using the Rode Reporter app so that we can keep track of what microphone the iPhone is using. So without anything connected, if we look here, it says internal microphone. So the first thing that we're going to plug in is a $9 lightning to headphone jack cable. Like I said, you probably already have it. If you've been a long time iOS user, when iPhones stopped using the headphone jacks, we probably all went out and have these. But if you don't have them, like I said, $9 from Best Buy, from Apple and from the certified Amazon store, plug that in. And then the next cable that you'll need is a TRRS to TRS cable. This is the certified Rode SC7 TRS cable. You can see it's green gray on this end. And this has three rings. That's what makes it TRRS. This is what goes connected directly into the headphone port. And then on the black side is just your regular two rings and that's what goes into your headphones. So plug that in and then I'm just going to plug in my headphone and you can see here once we plugged in the receiver, the transmitter is now on the iPhone now switched from external microphone to internal microphone and if I just tap you can see that the iPhone is picking up the audio from the Rode Wireless Go 2s. And that's it, that's all you need. Two cables under $25, half of which you probably already had in your house and you're good to go, connected your Rode Wireless Go 2s to your iPhone. But what if you need to add headphones to the mix? Well, I have another solution for you and that is the Rode SC6. That's this adapter here. It is, you see the TRRS on one end headphone jack. And if we look, you can see that there is two microphone ports and a headphone port. On this end, it's two gray ends for the microphone ports and one black end. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put this adapter in between. So I'm going to unplug the gray end of the TRRS cable. I'm going to plug in my SC6 directly to my iPhone. You can see it switched back to internal microphone. Plug that in there and then take the gray end and put it into one of the two gray ports there. And now it's switched back to external microphone and then just take your headphones and connect it to the headphone jack and voila. We are good to go. Why would you want to use that? Well, let's say you want to use your Rode Wireless Go 2s on a Zoom call. You need to hear the participants audio or you want to use your iPhone to record a podcast with someone who's not in the same room with you. You want to get great audio, of course, but how do you hear the other speaker on the podcast? That's where a solution like this comes in. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Hopefully that was a quick and cheaper alternative to connecting your Rode Wireless Go 2s to your iPhone and it gets working the way you need it to work. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, leave me some comments, let me know what you thought. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to connect your Rode Wireless Go 2s
to your iPad device. All right, guys, catch you guys on the next one. Peace.